Dear Class of 2020, Every year brings a different set of challenges. This year has been especially hard for all of us, considering all we have to endure and accomplish. But in this moment, let us remind ourselves of how, we, how far we have come in these last few years to be able to celebrate this milestone of our life. Making it to this moment is something every one of us should be proud of. During our time together, we were able to gain courage and ability to adapt and become better people compared to how we were before. Whether it's yesterday, last month, or back in the beginning, when we first stepped foot out of class at UNLV. This idea of adaptability has a strong correlation with my field, which is graphic design. Throughout the four years of being a graphic designer, I learned the importance of making changes. What we do as creatives will have a significant impact on others. And we also grow from adapting different voices, perspectives, and styles. We finally became who we are today. And I can say from my experience that I changed drastically in my four years of college life. Once I realized what I was capable of doing with the things I learned from my professors and mentors, I began to make changes upon my life. This year revolves a lot of firsts, whether it's our first global pandemic or our first time going fully virtual for classes. Many of you are even first generation college students. These all require changes. And while it's uncomfortable, we have made the necessary sacrifice and adaptations to make through these situations. We made it and we have overcome all of our hardships and fears. And I want to congratulate everyone on finishing this journey together as a community, a community that is filled with talent, hard work, and creativity. My hopes for all of you, my fellow classmates, would be that you maintain what you are passionate about, have an open mind to different perspectives, and don't be afraid to take chances. As all of these will have and will help con us continue to grow in the in becoming a better person. Finally, I want to give thanks to my parents, my friends, my professors, and mentors. I couldn't make it without all of you, all of your support. So thank you all again. Best of luck to everyone and stay safe. Hello, this is a very special day. Thank you for being here. I want to congratulate the art, design, and art history students. My name is Marcus Sivan. I'm professor and chair of the Department of Art. And this has been one of the craziest semesters, hasn't it? Um, you all are graduating, and I think graduating would be a special, special occurrence in any semester, in any year. but. Graduation is an extra special occurrence, and I want to thank you and your parents and your families and your friends uh, for doing everything that you would have ordinarily done to be amazing UNLV Department of Art students. But I want to thank you especially for everything you've done to be uh, extraordinary Department of Art students in this extraordinary time. So I have two things that I want to do. Um, one is just a fun thing, and that'll come last. And then two, which is first, will be to read you a poem. Um, so this poem is called The Road Not Taken, and it's by Robert Frost. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler, 
Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other as just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear. Though as for the passing there had worn them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Okay, now for the part that is just a little bit more fun. Okay, um, ready? We're gonna do a little countdown and then it's gonna happen. Okay. Three, two, one. Congratulations!